Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for Variable Action New Orhan. This is a really awesome uh, mech and it's made by a Mega House. It's actually released last year and I just got it uh, this year of 2016. And the thing is with Variable Action, uh, they're actually quite expensive and sometimes you can get them for clearance, which I got this. <laughs> sometimes it's good to wait. And here we go. And uh, this is from the OVA or an anime movie called Expel from Paradise. Kind of give you a quick synopsis on that. It's about an officer named Angelo Balzac uh, who reside or lives in a kind of like a virtual reality in uh, this one, like a space station orbits around the Earth, I believe. And uh, she went down to Earth to catch this hacker. Now, the Earth is more of the primitive. <laughs> and there's actually just a lot of people just trying to survive on so much kind of like a, a wasteland in some ways. So uh, she went down there with this awesome high-tech mech and everything. And uh, yeah, that's kind of like uh, how her adventure starts. Which is kind of interesting. So that's that. And actually, I do have the Figma as well. I will review that eventually. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just really intrigued uh, with this the anime and the mech design as well as a character they're really cool so anyway so this is the box art pretty cool looking on the back here you probably still can get this uh, just depends on where you look uh, I can't remember where I got this from might have been the pre uh, pre-owned section Ami Ami or it could be somewhere else I, can't, I just can't remember. I had this a couple months back already. And I'm just saving up this review for the up, new upcoming one for the Good Small Arms, which I have now. That's why I'm doing this review. Alright, let's take a look inside. Alright, so <laughs> I figured I, I'd do something like this. So it actually turns out it's kind of like a pod. These mechs are kind of like in this shell. And uh, they open up kind of like those uh, droids in Star Wars. But, um, well, unfortunately, this one does not transform. It'll be great if it does, but it's not made for that. So it's basically a non transforming uh, mech for this figure. So it does come with a cool stand here. It says Neo R hand. Yep. Simple base. Uh, you have hinges here, so you can uh, turn this. Or move this around. You may have to loosen up the screws, but that's that. Now for the figure, it's actually relatively small. You would think it's a big, big, but it's as big as a robot damashi. And to kind of give you an idea how tall it is in terms of actual measurements, it's about five inch, more or less, maybe five and a quarter tall. So not that uh, big at all. But uh, it does have a lot of cool uh, details on it. I really like the color scheme. Uh, other than uh, my favorite color is orange, but <laughs> just the, the way it's uh, made, it's really nice. It blends well. And just the overall design, it's uh, really nifty. I like it. Alright, so uh, we have the figure here. And uh, it looks great. <laughs> it does come with a base which is right here just a clear base uh, with some uh, lettering on it just new R hand kind of like the it's like a digitized uh, let's have an arm uh, which you can loosen with a screw right here there is connection points on the back right there and on to the bottom and it just pegs in right there there we go I have him in a flying pose or some kind of cool action which is awesome to have too there we go And other than that, let's take out the base here. Uh, let's go over articulation. Now, starting with the neck, neck is has a little a bit of articulation, just a little. So uh, the collar here does kind of get in the way. Yeah, and it doesn't have a really long neck at all. <laughs> you can go up, a bit of down. There seems to be a hinge there. Now. I don't mind it because of how it is designed and it, it is a very futuristic robot and more than enough he has some radar and cameras all over its body so he doesn't really need to move the neck but then again <laughs> moving on 
we have the shoulder here. So the shoulder has actually a, quite a bit of uh, articulation to it. So the first off, uh, we have this part here. It's basically a hinge with a straight peg. There might be a ball joint there too. So we got that. You also have uh, this armor here, which is held on by a ball joint. There we go. Let's peg that back in. There's another hinge here on top. So you got quite a bit of articulation there. And you can have, it seems like to be in a ball joint, so you can wiggle that a little bit further closing in. And you also have a bicep swivel there. So really nice. You get your elbow bend. You got a 90 there and a little bit more for 120 degrees. So it's double hinge, which is great. And you got your wrist joint here. So that's pretty much it for the shoulder and arms. And that's quite great, especially for this. Alright, so uh, moving on to the torso here, I don't think there's any kind of uh, articulation in, in the torso. Uh, it's like a, just a solid block there, although there's a lot of details on it, which is great. On the back side, you do have this uh, thrusters here, which is uh, held on by a ball joint there again. So you got two of those. And onto the waist, you have this ball joint, which you can uh, move side to side. Yeah, and kind of hinges. It's kind of weird angle, but <laughs> well, this does turn into that uh, pod. So, uh, moving on, now uh, you have the legs here. It is on this uh, ball joint, and uh, you can turn that around. It feels like it's a bit loose than it should be, but it's working you know, fine. Although, you know, sometimes it, it does kind of spread out. Might uh, have to add a little bit of uh, the clear polish uh, technique. So if you have a clear floor polish, you can dab a little bit, let it dry. And that should give you a little bit of traction or just put a piece of paper. Although I did look on this and uh, there's not much in there. So... The paper might be uh, sticking out if you use that method so yeah <laughs> anyways uh, it's fine for now you do have a tie swivel as there as well which is great uh, what else we got here we got the knee bends that much we got that S curve there and it does not twist yeah, it'll be cool if you can actually twist this around and you can actually kind of somewhat transform it. And uh, yeah, for what it looks like, it's going to be like that. For where to transform. <laughs> but again, it does not. Moving on, uh, we have the ankle here. It is in a bowl joint. Then, uh, it's a, like double bowl joint there. There's another peg going here. Quite nice and you get this little hinge here for the heel really cool now for the foot it looks a bit odd because it looks like the heels on the back it's flipped but uh, in another sense it kind of looks like talons so it, it is a, a unique design uh, for this robot the new Arhan all right so uh, that's it for articulation all right so for accessories let's go over the variety of hands we have the close fist here which is uh, normally installed first. Then you have a pair of open hands right here. And lastly, you have a pair for holding the weapon. So for this one, you only get this two submachine guns. They're all molded in one uh, color and in one piece. I found out that there is an add-on set that you can buy separately, or it might have been exclusive. But it's a separate thing where you get the shield, the blades, and I think a real gun. That'll be cool to have, but I didn't get that. <laughs> More than likely, I'll, I'll just be satisfied for this a variable action. And I can, and actually, I think the good small arms has those add-ons. So uh, that's why I'm, I didn't really go after those. So we have those there. This doesn't have any peg connection on the handle, but you can just slide it in and it holds quite well. So no problem there. 
So quite nice. I like it. Very easy to put on. No issues. And I think for the most part that's about it for this review. Really, really cool figure. You can do a lot of cool poses with this. It just has that amazing design. Yeah, really uh, dynamic. <laughs> and definitely you want to display this on a base, which is provided. So I'll probably put it here. And uh, there you go. That's the review for the Barbell Action New Arhan. I will review the Good Small Arms uh, following this review. And uh, definitely I will let you guys know which I think is good to have. The ups and downs. And it's just an overall good comparison between the two figures. Anyways, that's about it. If you got questions, let me know. So until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.